Hello, and welcome back. Hello, Goat Maid Samantha. Thank you for the <laughs> thank you for the gifted sub. And I start every stream with one chapter from the Bible. Okay, so it is a Pokemon stream, <laughs> but I start every stream with one chapter from the Bible. But thanks for the gifts, uh, the the gifted sub. Kind of surprised you didn't just get a sip, uh, get a sub for yourself. All right, so last time um, we got a whole bunch of point, uh, a whole bunch of BP, and we expanded the coastal region, and we got more BP, and that's what I plan to do today. Except hopefully we'll expand the last two regions and actually finish the Pokedex out to 200, which is what Perrin wants. <laughs> As for why I'm streaming it on Twitch today, that's because I am busy tomorrow. And, um, the Picardo stream is only on Sunday, so I'm just going to, uh, so I'm just streaming on Twitch because that's where I normally stream. Hopefully it's not too confusing to the people who normally only watch me on Twitch. Boost biodiversity in the canyon biome. <clears throat> Hi, it's Terry from the Terrarium Club. Thanks for all your support. Yes, use the BP that you donated to us today. We've been able to upgrade the environments in the canyon biome. New Pokemon will be able to live there now, including Wild Litten. Yay! Alright, so the blue dragon. This one is 3D printed. And... It's all assembled using uh, a, using a bunch of bungee cord. It is indeed blue. <laughs> this was the the blue color. Uh, I it printed. For, it took a week to print the parts, <laughs> um, and everything was done using blue filament except the eyes, which are red. And. Um, the bungee cord is not the most uh, responsive ever, which is why I don't particularly like moving this one, because it takes me a good 20 minutes of setting it back up when I put it back on the shelf, <laughs> because it does not want to stand up. But here's the whole thing. It's about a foot long. All right. It is indeed fancy. Um, I was very happy with that download. Uh, it took me about three hours to assemble it, but, um, it would have taken me about, uh, ten minutes to assemble if I hadn't decided about halfway through that I wanted to see if I could get the, uh, um, if I could get the bungees to be a little tighter. And the answer was no. <laughs> um, but I had already cut the bungee cord, so, um... I, uh, I had to wrestle with it. <laughs> Tepig! Fire Pig Pokemon! This Pokemon is a ravenous glutton. It uses its excellent sense of smell to find food, then cooks it to a crisp before eating. Shield on, Shield Pokemon. This Pokemon lived in primeval jungles. It's thought that Shield on had a few had few enemies thanks to its sturdy face. For comparison, Dialga and Palkia have a 
30 at strength. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm, and that might be a 3. Um, most legendaries have 3. Uh, Beldum also has 3, which is loads of fun. Uh, <laughs> Um, I think if, uh, I think it's uh, Reshiram and Zekrom that have a 30, because you're required to catch them for the uh, for the plot of the story, so it'd be unreasonable to make it a 3. But in, uh, starting in Gen 8, they started to make, um, they, they made it so that uh, any any Pokemon that you are required to capture for the plot of the story has a 100% catch rate. <sighs> Rico, Wood Gecko Pokemon. Rico can quickly scale even vertical surfaces. It senses humidity with its tail to protect the uh, to predict the next day's weather. I'll show you all kinds of Pokemon that I found and caught here in the Terrarium. Dana of the League Club. Starts with Sinchino and Whimsicott. Whimsicott's only in the ice area. Or, sorry, Sinchino is only in the ice area. Whimsicott's only in the coastal area. You do that. I always burn my own Pokemon. Tucking it out.
Thanks for showing me your Pokemon, too. The terrarium was carefully set up to provide a great habitat for all kinds of different Pokemon. Trico is evolving! The iconic Grovile, Wood Gecko Pokemon. Grovile leaps from branch to branch and large trees, moving with ease. It, it propels itself with astounding speed and force. Litten, fire cat Pokemon. While grooming itself, it builds up fur inside its stomach. It sets the fur alight and spews fiery attacks, which change based on how it coughs. Multigeist, black tea Pokemon, phony form. <laughs> These Pokemon multiply by creeping into teapots and pouring themselves into leftover tea. Shieldon is evolving. Bastiodon, shield Pokemon. Bastiodon live in herds. When assaulted by enemies, they line up side by side and use their hard faces to block attacks. But it's a it's a video game that I play mostly because I like how customizable it is. Catch a fighting type. Eh? Poplio, sea lion Pokemon. The balloons it inflates with its nose grow larger and larger as it practices day by day. Grovile is evolving. Sceptile, forest Pokemon. The leaves on its arms are sharp as swords. It agilely leaps about the branches of trees to strike its enemies. Did you get lost in water up here? Don't worry, Sophie's here to show you the way. Sophie of the League Club. Starts with Blissey and Farigerath. Rabska!
Nice, it flinched. That's what the King's Rock is for. Goodbye. I guess you had a thing or two to show me. Poplio's evolving. Rion, pop star Pokemon. It cares deeply for its companions. When its trainer is feeling down, it performs a cheery dance to try to help. If you just follow the block walls, you'll end up in the central plaza every time. Easy. I'm the best in my whole class at using the self-serve healing machines to heal up my team. Chloe the student. As Giraffrig and Magmar. Well, I lost. Time to go use that healing machine! <laughs> Litten is evolving! Tora Cat! Fire, po uh, fire Cat Pokémon! Toracat will let its trainer coddle it once they've grown close, but it's a powerful short clawed Pokemon, so its trainer gets covered in scratches. Tepig is evolving! Ignite! Fire Pig Pokemon! When defending its friends, Pegnite will stand up to any opponent, no matter how strong, but it's powerless when faced with an em empty stomach. Arm Thrust. 
Sure. My dream is to work in a Pokemon Center one day. Then I'll use the healing machines all the time! Finnekin! Fox Pokemon! Twigs make for Finnekin snacks. When it nibbles on twigs, it finds the courage to face strong foes. Oh, hey! Big Knight's evolving. Embor! Mega Fire Pig Pokemon! The dire of the situation, the more it seems to enjoy itself. The flames around its necks intensify, too, increasing Embor's power and speed. And Finnekin's evolving. I don't remember Hunter J. I haven't watched much of the anime. Breaksin! Fo uh, fox Pokemon! Breaksin's branch ignites as it's pulled from the Pokemon's tail. Breaksin then uses the flame to spark powerful attacks. Yeah, I don't think I watched whatever season that was. Chuspin, spiny nut Pokemon. Eating lots of berries makes the bark shell that covers Chuspin's head and body, uh, body grow sturdier. Rion is evolving. Primarina. Soloist Pokemon, also known as a songstress. It is a sight to behold on moonlit nights when it sings in front of the colony it leads. Sparkling Aria. Breakson is evolving. Delphox, Fox Pokemon. It controls flames telekinetically, trapping its foes in a fiery vortex surpassing 5400 degrees Fahrenheit and burning them to a crisp. Now let's see if, uh, see if you've been chipping away at those BBQs or not, Emily. Heavens to Betsy, you've gone and completed 80 solo quests. I say you've earned yourself one of my special snacks, Emily. Moultrie Street. That there's a Moultrie Street. You know Moultrie's frightfully rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Speaking of Moultrie, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger feller. I was off doing a spot of rock climbing over in western Paldea at the time. The weather was sure something else that day. Sandstorms were kicking up the whole desert. My mouth was as sandy as the ground. I was about ready to call it quits when... 
Moltres appeared in a blaze of glory, so bright you could see it through the blowing sands. I don't know if it meant to cheer me on, but it certainly did, and I completed my climb that day. It loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. If you run into a Moltres, you be sure to give it my best! Ninety? I was adventuring off in Peldea when I saw Cub Food training. I ambled right up to it and asked, Oh, ho, ho, hard at work training, are you? Why, the two of us got on like a house on fire. We trained together for a time till Cub Food seemed to be itching to move on. But it left me a gift. It plucked up a haul of the bamboo sprouts that grew nearby, just for me. It loves that snack that you... Okay. A hundred solo quests? Zapdos Treat. I'd climbed right up to the tippy top of one of those lighthouses you've got in Paldea, and I was taking in the view, looking over a distant city. When, would you believe it, the heavens broke wide open and raids started pouring down on me. I thought I'd better get out of that mess in a hurry, so I turned to head down again. Then the whole sky lit up like a huge crash of lightning, and Zapdos came flying out of nowhere. It blew right by me, quick as a flash. A hundred and ten? Verizion! I tell you no lies, I simply came across Verizion resting among the trees one day while I was on one of my adventures around Paldea. And what trees they were! All done up in these mysterious patterns like I've never seen. We stayed there a good while, me and Verizion, gazing at one another twixt those fanciful trees. But that old Verizion, it j didn't run off, just gave me this curious look, you know? So I sat there and told it about my adventures, and it listened with a kindly air the whole time. Hundred and twenty. Vanilla. This guy is the luckiest guy ever. Like, seriously, how did he come across all of these legendary Pokemon just randomly? <laughs> I was on fine sandy beach in Paldea, gazing out at the sun as it set into the sea. Looking at the sun really reminds you just how small you are as one person, you know? I was getting all sentimental as I was as I watched the light slipping away. It hadn't yet disappeared when suddenly the great uh, this great crescent moon bloomed before my eyes. It was only there for an instant, so it was hard to get a good look. But I'm sure that silhouette belonged to Lunala, or my name's not Snacksworth. Hundred and thirty. Lugia! I was paddling off in the sea off Paldea, enjoying a leisurely backstroke through those crystal waters. But it was a real frigid stretch of sea, you understand. Didn't take long in that water before I'd started to lose all the warmth in my body. I was shaking like a leaf by the time I found an island and crawled ashore. What should appear before me but a great whirlpool in this uh, heaving in the sea, and whoosh! Out of it comes Lugia itself. I was knocked flat on my backside in the shock of it all, so delighted I forgot I was even cold. Ah, I didn't get 140. One more group quest! I don't have any group quests. <laughs> group quest requires that I'm... Okay. Well, 
Root Quest requires that I could play with someone else, uh, which I have not had any luck at doing so far, but... Looks like I got all the solo quest ones, anyway. Hold on. The special calling coaches co uh, cost BP. It's 200. Ah! <laughs> I guess I do have to still do quests. <laughs> Because I do want to call the coaches. Fairy from the Terrarium Club. Yes, using the BP that you donated to us today, we've been able to upgrade the environments in the polar biome. New Pokémon will be able to live there now, including Wild Piplup. Photo of a Pokemon swimming, and surprise another Pokemon. Piplup, Penguin Pokemon. It doesn't look li uh, like to. Uh, it doesn't like to be taken care of. It's difficult to bond with since it won't listen to its trainer. Auto battle. Oshawott, sea otter Pokemon. It's said that Oshawott learned to maintain its scout shop with riverbed stones by mimicking humans it saw using whetstones. Chespin is evolving. Bladen, spiny armor Pokemon, can send a trailer flying with a tackle. It's numb to pain, so even violent collisions don't phase it. No one can stop me! I'm on a total roll! <laughs> Soren the student. As Rotom and Golurk. Nice! She, you dodged it. <laughs> Nothing like dodging a 100 accuracy, <laughs> accurate move. right over me. Thoracat is evolving. Incineroar, heal Pokemon. After hurling ferocious punches and flinging furious kicks, it finishes opponents off by spewing fire from around its navel. Darkest Lariat! Hit 
Piplup is evolving! Prinplup! Penguin Pokemon. Because every Prinplup considers itself to be the most important, they can never form a group. Metal Claw? Oshawott is evolving! Duot! Dis <laughs> Disciplined Pokémon. Duot has a studious and stern personality. It masters the use of its scout chops through dedicated, repeated training. I thought I'd be able to keep rolling up and up through the lake uh, ranks of the BB League. Darn. Scorbunny, rabbit Pokemon. Fire energy gathers in the pads of, the, uh, of its feet, raising their temperature. Once hot, Scorbunny's foot pads can deal heavy damage to opponents. I climb the peak before me because it's there. I beat the trainer before me because she's there. E uh, Ellie the student. Has nine tails and a sand slash, and is totally screwed. It's already snowing. All of her Pokémon are Ice-type. As always, I burned my own Pokémon. A truly formidable summit. the mountains. My dream is to graduate from being a student to being a hiker someday. All that work that I've been doing just for you. <laughs> hey, Emily. Don't tell me. You already got yourself 200 Pokemon from the Terrarium? Impressive! It was hard work. Well, look at you putting in all that effort. I like to see that in a kid. You probably know more about the Pokémon in the Terrarium than I do, and I got here first! I guess you've earned yourself that hot tip. Take a look at these photos, would you? That's not in the Terrarium. Where did you get that? I mean... I can't imagine you've been allowed to Area Zero, so where did you get that picture from? <laughs> Th 
That's a modified Cobalion. See those strange Pokemon? The first one's called Iron Boulder, and the other one's Iron Crown. Totally unknown Pokemon in totally unknown places. If they're real, it'd be a huge deal. Apparently these places are in Paldea. You have any idea where, Emily? Yeah. Wow, are they famous spots? I want to visit them! Of course, you know how it is these days, right? These photos could totally be fakes. But if you wanted to know for sure, maybe you could go try to search these Pokemon out. I can show you the photos again anytime you like. Just give me a shout. And find me something good, Emily. I've got faith in your survey skills. Wait, so what do I need to do? Yeah, sure. Okay, I know where that is. Both of these are pretty high up in uh, Area Zero. Apparently they were taken somewhere in Paldea. Go survey and bring me back some good news. Okay, I'm going to assume that I need to either take a picture or catch the Pokemon, and I'm going to try and do both. <sighs> Is that it? Yeah, there we go. The other one's a little more obvious. And I didn't want to kill it. And that's why I saved. Well, I know better than to do what I did now. You know what? That's another way to catch a legendary. <laughs> Iron Crown! Paradox Pokémon! There was supposedly an incident in which it launched shiny blades to cut everything around it to pieces. Little else is known about it. Laden is evolving. Just not. Spiny Armor Pokemon. Its gentle disposition would have it avoid conflict, but it gives opponents a thrashing with its thorn fist when the situation calls for it. Spiky Shield. Duot is evolving. Mm. 
Samurott. Formidable Pokemon. Samurott leads its group strictly. Those who do not follow its rules be <laughs> receive a merciless thrashing. Yeah, running shoes. Thankfully, that's not a thing in this game. But it has been a thing in pretty recent games. This is it. Now, where is it? There we go. Modified Terrakion. Iron Boulder. I'll see if Lava Plume kills it. Oh no, it doesn't. Good. It must not have a catch rate of three. <laughs> that was way too easy on both of them. Iron Boulder, Paradox Pokemon. It was named after a mysterious object recor recorded in an old book. Its body seems to be metallic. Well, Emily, that Pokemon, isn't that the Pokemon from the picture? That's a real-life Iron Boulder! That thing is built! Wow! Rumors say that this fellow charges its horns with energy, then uses them to plow through everything in its path. Haha, <laughs> if that were true, then this thing would be a real fearsome threat to face. Now let me just snap a couple of photos here. This could mean the other Pokémon I showed you is real, too. Report back to me if you find it, okay? Well, Emily, that Pokémon, isn't that the Pokémon from the picture? A real Iron Crown! It's so... so mecha! Rumor has it that this fellow can fire off beams from its horns that'll cut through anything at all! Haha, <laughs> if that were true, then this thing would be a real fearsome threat to face. Now let me just snap a couple of photos here. Wow, you actually went and found them both! I can't even be surprised. That's just like you, Emily. Between you and me, I was having a hard time focusing on my own work. I couldn't keep my mind off of those photos. You saved me. I know I didn't promise any rewards or anything, but I've got to thank you for putting the mystery to rest. Here you go. This prize is a real catch. Sport Ball! A special Pokeball that was used during the bug catching contest in the Johto region. It's wild how much mystery is left in the world, isn't it? When you're a kid, you can just run wholehearted wherever you want, but it's not so easy when you get older. You keep running, Emily. Find unknown Pokémon, have grand adventures, do it for me! And now I think I'd better get back to work.
Just curious. This terrarium really is something out of this world. It's hard to remember we're under the sea, and you can simply stroll from an ice-covered mountain to a tropical island? It's a photographer's dream being able to take photos of all these different environments. Okay. Hello, I'm Dragon Rider Luke. I'm a Christian streamer, and I'm always up for a friendly chat about my faith. I also think that it's important that people read or hear the Word of God frequently, so the next five minutes or so will be a chapter from the Bible. If it feels like I'm skipping around, that's because you're not watching my videos in stream order. Genesis 12 the, Lord's, uh, the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was seventy-five years old when he set out from Haran. He took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Abram traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Morah at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord, who had appeared to him. From there he went on toward the hills east of Bethel, and pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord, and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abram set out and continued toward the Negev. Now there was a famine in the land, and Abram went down to Egypt to live there for a while because the famine was severe. As he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife Sarai, I know what a beautiful woman you are. When the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is his wife. Then they will kill me, but will let you live. Say you are my sister, so that I will be treated well for your sake, and my life will be spared because of you. When Abram came to Egypt, the Egyptians saw that Sarai was a very beautiful woman. And when Pharaoh's officials saw her, they praised her to, uh, to Pharaoh, and she was taken into his palace. He treated Abram well for her sake, and Abram acquired sheep and cattle, male and female donkeys, male and female servants, and camels. But the Lord inflicted serious diseases on Pharaoh and his household because of Abram's wife Sarai. So Pharaoh summoned Abram. What have you done to me? He said. Why didn't you tell me she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister so that I took her to be my wife? Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave orders about Abram to his men, and they sent him on his way, with his wife and everything he had. May God bless the reading of his word. It's Emily! Thanks for requesting this collab! Let me hit you with the eyeball-snatching title I brainstormed for my next stream. Gym leader Ayano infiltrates this weird academy! You won't believe what she finds! Now I just need the weird, unbelievable stuff. What do you think I should focus on? Weird, unbelievable stuff. The director. <sighs> the director? Like, the boss man guy? You sure? Sounds kind of bore- uh, risky! If I bring on a snoozer guest, that'd be a real top 10 Ayano Betrayals moment. I'll do some digging then. Thanks for the tip, friendo! Now, I don't know about you, but I think it's time I started getting ready for my next stream. Hey, it's Emily! Want to do a little battling for the live stream? Yes. Yes! Here we go! Off to Battle Land! Hello, watch roll.
That's not gonna affect anything. Do I do vid reactions since I'm the only one here? I, uh... Oh. First off, I'm not sure you're the only one here. Not certain. There's one other person listed, and I'm not certain they're a real person. <laughs> um, but I generally don't do vid uh, video reactions. Um... Electivire. Nah. Keep current. It's Pokemon related. Yeah. I, I don't do video reactions, um, generally speaking, unless it's, like, live. Um, like, I've done one time where the, uh, where the uh, Nintendo Direct overlapped my stream, so I did a reaction then, but... <laughs> I've never had cause to do any video reactions before. Electrode, the current. Ow. I'll win Peter down. Good. Uh. Ogre Pond. Static didn't hit. Belly Bolt. Keep current. I love how this thing's eyes are actually uh, the little dot yellow dots above the mouth. It just looks so goofy. Luxray. Current. It's Magius. Keep current. My view counts on the rise like a super fast electros crawling out of the ocean. Yeah. Come forth, shiny little light bulb. No one buzzes as super duper bright as you. Subscribe button. Print flip is evolving. Empoleon, Emperor Pokemon. It avoids unnecessary disputes but it will mercilessly decimate anything that threatens the safety of its colony. Oh, 
Aqua Jet. Score Bunny is evolving. Reboot! Rabbit Pokemon. While it prides itself on its varied kicking moves, it can also deliver powerful headbutts once its flames have heated up to its forehead. Oh man, I lost! Dot dot dot. But, look at those viewer numbers! This is bitter so sweet! Wait, did my loyal fans just want to see how I'd react to losing to a champion? Meh, viewer numbers are viewer numbers. As thanks, here's an SSS tier drop! Some mega exclusive Iano merch! Iano Zone Case. Can't wait for our next collab! Vault and Veluza! Fancy running into you again! You're still a student, ain't ya? Yet here you are, getting to invite special coaches and everything! You're really something else, kid. It's not that big a of a deal. Yeah! What's the point of denying that a big deal's a big deal? Being humble only goes so far, kid. Anyway, thanks for giving me the chance to come all the way out here. Old man Kofu's gonna learn something along with the kids, let me tell ya. Step right up! Why not have a lively battle with old man Kofu? Yep. I've caught myself a Whopper! Let's head on up to the entrance then. Team Leader Kofu has Pelipper out front. I think I know why. Grizzle. Alligator. It's Ogre Pond's turn. Flawed, sir.
One trio. Abominable! Yeah, <laughs> the tides of battle are fickle. You never know how they'll flow, and that's what I like. Prepare the rigging for a big transformation. The tide's gonna flow my way now. What a great catch! Raboot is evolving! Cinderace, Striker Pokemon. Using a ball that is made out of flames, Cinderace blinds its opponents and keeps them at bay. Fire Ball. There's no stopping the force you muster. It's like watching a magic carp swim up a waterfall. Facing young uns like yourself helps keep this old man uh, helps this old man learn and grow too. Here's a little something for you. It spice packs a real wallop, just like you, kid. Three shakers of spicy herba mystica. A legendary condiment said to have the mightiest of all spicy flavors. It's said that a single bite will kick the metabolism into high gear immediately. You come back to see me again now, you hear? Oh, it's you. Calling me all the way out to another region. Is the certain chairwoman rubbing off on you? Actually, don't worry about it. To be honest, I don't mind these little business trips. I know I'm here for work, but I may as well enjoy myself while I'm at it. Speaking of which, I've heard that Unova has two particularly famous dishes, berry sandwiches and Castelia cones. Which one appeals to you more? Castelia cones. Ah, I see. I suppose you must have a sweet tooth. Well, thanks for the input. Once I'm done with my lecture, I'll step out and eat my fill. You have a certain look. A look that says you want to battle me. Yep. I'm technically off the clock now, but fine. Let's have a battle. In 
leader Larry is he, yeah he's using his normal type team so he's got oink cologne first okay Amigo. Oh, he's got a mixture of his teams. The Dunsparce. Raptor. I'll see this battle through to the end, unless that means I have to work overtime. There's nothing wrong with plain and simple. Let's keep things normal. Ow. 
Ow! Well, I've had my fill. Impressive skills. You just keep getting stronger, don't you? I imagine you worked up a sweat. Here, take these. Three shakers of Salty Herba Mystica. Salty Herba Mystica, one of the condiments spoken of as legends. Its mellow saltiness is said to be tremendously effective when it comes to promoting health. It's important to replenish your minerals. What's good, Emily, my little challenger? People all around the world oh, know who the one and only MC of R.I.P. is. So you got a lot of nerve having me fly all the way here for a ghostly guest verse. Ha ha ha! I'm just kidding. If a champion like you calls with a nice offer, you know I'm picking up. So you want me to treat these blueberry kids to a lyrical lesson? I'm ready. Give them some bars, please. Ha! <laughs> You're down to go with flow, huh, kid? Don't worry, I'll teach them a lesson on how to battle, too. Let me hear it, Emily. Ready to square up? Yep. Ha! You already know. Let's go head to head and soul to soul. Gym Leader Rhyme. Starts with Bennett and Mimic You. Ha! Burn the Mimic You. Or importantly, I knocked it over. have any fairy type moves on my team.
We are nearing the ending. Feel the tension rising? Make your peace now, cause you ain't surviving. Step to me, I'll make you take a knee. Toxtricity, drop the bass in minor key. I'm shook. This cell took me by surprise. This battle rattled my bones and my pride. Ha! Great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You got me in your corner, baby. In spirit. Not like I can actually tag in for you, you know? I'm gonna hook you up with a pair of kicks from my tour merch. Wear your soul on your shoes. Ghost Sneakers! Fans go wild for those things, so treasure them to your grave. So yeah, I, I don't have nearly enough BP to do anything else here, so... <laughs> um, that's gonna be all for today. So when we come back next time, I will be farming BP, but not to finish out Perrin's quest, no, just to call in more coaches. Um, I think I need about a thousand more BP, which didn't take that long to get. I mean, I got 4,000 today, so... <laughs> At any rate, that's going to be all for today, so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.